All right, positively, Jackson, I, 10 months, that's a long time, especially during those last few moments you're waiting for a loved one to come home. Well, Joy's here now with a local military homecoming that may have you thinking differently about all our recent rainy weather. Joy? Yes, can't wait until you hear what Master at Arms Second Class Rakim Rowley has to say about our weather after serving in the Middle East these past 10 months. And among those who greeted him back home, Several of his colleagues from Naval Station Mayport, old friends, and his very excited wife. Sometimes a few minutes can feel like an eternity. Just ask Sierra Rowley, waiting for her husband at JAX to walk up that airport hallway after being away on a 10-month deployment in Kuwait and Syria. <sighs> I'm just a bundle of nerves. Just a bundle of nerves. I'm very excited. I just can't wait to see him. I'm going to try not to scream. She didn't, but she took off so fast at the first sight of her husband, she outran our cameraman. Yeah! Sierra says she hasn't been able to eat. She's been so excited. And Navy K-9 trainer Rakim Rowley felt the same way, counting the minutes after boarding his last connecting flight. 53 minutes, that's how long the flight lasts. 53 minutes uh, is the gap between uh, my friends and my coworkers and my family and uh, getting him back home, 53 minutes. That him is Rakim's bomb-sniffing dog, Raven, a black lab whom you can see is also quite happy to see Sierra. He's been excited ever since we made it back to the United States. I think he's, he knew that we were closer to coming home. Besides the relief of sleeping in his own bed and binging on pizza, barbecue, and seafood, Rakim gave us a new perspective on our recent rainy weather, which he felt on his way home during a layover in Virginia. Actually, it rained a, a lot in Virginia, and it felt so good to have rain on my skin. <laughs> I was in 117 degree weather. It was a little difficult out there, so when you feel that rain again for the first time, it's kind of like you're a kid. What? <laughs> Who's been complaining? It's raining too much. Yeah, me. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a perspective. And one of the first things the couple says they're gonna do is binge watch Netflix shows like Orange is the New Black. Their new season? They're yeah, so excited. Up, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's not something that? you hear about every day. No, it's not, but they said that's one of those shows they've got to watch together, so she waited. Oh my gosh. All that time. Very that nice. and Mission Impossible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right, clearly we're a military-friendly town, uh, and I guess uh, some of our viewers probably experienced the same sort of thing. Did uh, either of these couple uh, really have any advice for them? How yeah, Sierra especially. She said that there are a lot of sleepless nights worrying about where your loved one is. You don't know where they are. Her husband is a military police officer, so she's very worried about what he does. She says, just breathe and you'll be fine. Oh, Yeah. That's good advice. They're so cute. No I kidding. love that, that was uh, the, the dog. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. What's the dog's name again? Raven. Raven, yeah. Raven. What a beautiful <laughs> creature. The, and the so happy to be home. The sniffing dog that, oh, that's belly rub. Yes. And we love his belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it's you, Great Joy. story. <laughs>